Spire. Attacking and defending. Naturally, with all the other videos, I will talk about defending first, and then I'll do attacking with whatever time I have left. Because defending is more important as than attacking, in my personal opinion, and in the opinion of a lot of people who I know are really good. Not necessarily at TF2, but in any kind of eSport or sport in general. In fact, uh, I believe the saying in soccer, football, if you're European, or... Well, Australians call it soccer, I believe, too. But... The, the, the saying, I believe, is that uh, uh, a good any good team is built on its defense, so that's why I'm talking about defense first. I'm wasting too much time. I need to get into this. Defending the Spire is not the easiest thing in the world. I, w I will say that. it's. I'm not going to say it's hard, but I will say that it's not very easy. There's a gray area here, because the idea is that standing on the point with your team is pretty much out of the question because it's a very small spot. It's a very small space. So, keeping someone on the point is sometimes a good idea. When they're trying to pressure the point, you want to have somebody on there to prevent them from being able to cap. But if you're standing on the point and you're alone, or if you're, if you're standing on the point at all, you're, you're a pretty easy pick for, um, let's say, soldiers who somehow jump up right here and then get just enough height, because if you're a soldier and you rocket jump off the bridge, you're going to be about like this-ish height, you have a free shot. Or, if you're a demo man on the attacking side, you can sticky jump up here, and then as you're in the air, plop, plop, put a sticky down, put a couple stickies down right there, and anybody on the defensive side sitting here is pretty much dead meat. Same thing with soldiers who jump off of this right here. They have a nice little uh, air advantage, a height advantage, and for soldiers, that's very important to have that height advantage. So, it's pretty simple to, uh, to see how standing on the point is not really going to work out for you. I mean, at best, you could try to, like, dance around this little thing right here to defend the spire, to physically for lack of a better expression, since this is an online video game thing, but to essentially, physically, defend the Spire. This is probably like your best bet to like dance around here, get that weird little height advantage, make them forced to be more precise in their aiming, but it's, it's just not a good idea overall, I don't think. So instead of trying to stand on the Spire and push them off, like what I said in the uh, Gravel Pit video for defending the, the tower there, the C point, um, what you want to do, your, your philosophy toward defending the Spire would best be served, I think, by being around the spire and preventing them from getting onto it in the first place. So think of it as like a, I don't know, like a preventative defense or something like that. So positioning, let's talk about that for a defense. Um, you will typically see, well scouts in, in any situation pretty much will always be trying to find a flank, maybe going through here, or in other cases watching the flank. If you have control of the yard, your players are pretty much, gonna, your, your team is pretty much going to be centered around here. Your medic's going to be around here is what I mean. And since the medic is like the center of mass or whatever for your heavy classes, then that's what I mean. But anyway, back on topic, um, you're going to see your heavy classes be dancing around here. You want to have a... Ru uh, this is all assuming that you have control of the art. If you don't have control of the art, I'll talk about that in, in a bit. But you want to have like your roamer. Sometimes you'll be keeping an eye on this. Sometimes you can have a scout keeping an eye on this. This is like a, a call. Your team can decide that. But your demo man is definitely sitting back a little bit, trying to maybe like get like an angle and shoot a pipe up and through here. Because if you are a attacking into the yard, trying to take control of it, then you're going to be focusing pretty much here because this is like this is the choke. You know what I mean? This is why I called it the choke in the vocab video. This is why they call it the choke in the competitive community because you're both looking at the same corner and you're kind of like watching for anyone who's peeking around. If you're and as I said earlier. When you, whenever you come out of this choke point in this matter, you always want to swing wide. So, because of sticky bombs right here. And if you're the demo man, you want to hang back a bit. You don't want to be close to the wall so that you can get hit with slash damage, but you want to like, kind of like, kind of like sidestep to get a pipe through every now and then. But staying alive as a demo man on de on defense is extremely important. I, I would say, as a demo man, the the most important times you are needed is on defense. And if you die on defense, it's it's a bigger lost to your team than if you are attacking and you die on offense. That's just personal opinion. But yes, um, let's see, what, about, what else am I going to talk about? Soldiers are essentially with the medic when you have control of the yard. So it's just going back and forth a little bit. Sometimes, like I said earlier, you can have one person be dedicated to watching this choke and then another person watch that choke. Um, but, you know, it's, it's whatever, really. Um, that's just a small little decision thing. It doesn't make a big, no, it doesn't make a huge difference because you, all your heavy classes are watching that whole, eight, all of those things anyway. But um, 
your scouts are pretty much usually going to be hanging around here watching and trying to intercept other scouts who are trying to come through here whether it's on the diagonal bridge or whether they're coming in through the valley right here but you, uh, your scouts want to be da dancing around here to uh, prevent people from coming in and behind your medic. Um, if your medic is caught, and a common tactic that I, my team used in the past is your demo man could like put like a sticky, a couple stickies, like one, two, maybe three at most, I guess, around your medic, and then the medic can like stick around, can stay on the sticky, so that if a scout gets in too close, pop the stickies. Scouts don't. Scouts gone. Scouts dead. Whatever. That's a common thing. Um, okay, I think that's pretty much it for it. when you when you have control of the yard, what you should do. Um, if you do not have control of the yard. Um, what typically happens is you see the the combo dancing around on the battle controlling the battlements if you do not have control of the yard is the, is like the most important thing if the other side has control of the battlements then your only way of being able to defend the spire is to get low and either climb up the thing which is practically impossible in the, in a match or to rocket jump up there with whatever can do any kind of jumping I'm talking mostly about the the soldiers and the demos although pirates can do it too if they're really fancy and get really lucky with the uh, pipe or a rocket flying by them that's kind of uh, that's kind of here neither here nor there um, other times you you will see if your if your combo doesn't want to be up here on the battlements in, in this little slot right here pretty much then you will see them coming about right here which is the area behind the spire I don't know if I mentioned this uh, in the vocab video I should have if I didn't and if I didn't I apologize but this is another this is kind of like a safe area for you to control on defense for defending the spire um, let's see, what else is there to talk about? That's pretty much the uh, the combo positioning, but yes, your roamer, whenever he's not busy, should be with your pocket and medic combo at all times. That's, I say should, doesn't have to happen, but should, I say should, rather authoritatively, because that's what should be happening. Uh, I could talk about like a, the difference between roamer and pocket later on. Check out the Community Fortress wiki by any chance, or you should also, because that's where they talk about that. I actually wrote the article on the Soldier Pocket and Romer difference on that wiki thing, so you'd do good to read it if you're interested in that. Anyway, um, back on topic here, I'm derailing myself quite a bit, so I, I think that's pretty much it for defending the, the Spire. If you have control of the battle, well actually when you're defending the Spire at all, because these are such long sightlines, you can usually sometimes get away with using a sniper. He'll, the sniper typically dances around here, maybe right here to get a tight angle, or he'll be down here looking through this doorway right here. But if you're right here, you want to be sure that your other scout, or who, your second scouts, your two scouts, assuming that you use one soldier to uh, turn into the sniper, you want to make sure that this area is completely guarded, because if you're a sniper and you're looking through right here, then any scout who wanders by can just look in there and be, oh look, there's a free sniper kill or whatever. Because all your heavy classes will just be up here, assuming that you have control of the yard. If you don't have control of the yard, you want to be hanging around back here. Um, blah, I'm at the 8 minute mark-ish, so I think I'm going to cut it off and then make a second part video for attacking the spire. So, alright, let's do that.